Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to another Raspberry Pi hands-on tutorial. In this video, we'll use a relay module to control an LED. To follow along, in addition to a Raspberry Pi board with a micro SD card with the Raspberry Pi OS installed and a power supply, you'll also need a relay module, a 220 ohm resistor, an LED, a breadboard, and some jumper wires. In this video, I'll also be using a GPIO extension board connected to the breadboard. Before we jump into building the circuit and writing our code, let's consider what a relay is. Relays are electrically operated switches that open and close circuits when receiving electrical signals from outside sources. There are four parts to a relay. The electromagnetic coil, which consists of an iron core wounded by wire coils, which when electricity is passed through the coil, it becomes magnetic, hence the name electromagnetic. There's also an armature, which is a movable magnetic strip, which when current flows through the electromagnetic coil, it's energized and attracted to the coil to close the circuit or open the circuit when current is no longer flowing through the coil. Another part of the relay is a spring, which is used to pull the armature away from the electromagnet to open the circuit. And finally, there's a set of electrical contacts, which have two contact points, normally open, which is connected when the relay is activated and disconnected when it's inactive, or normally closed, which is not connected when the relay is activated and connected when it is inactive. Now, with that out of the way, Let's take a look at the circuit. Here, you can see the breadboard with the whole circuit laid out. If we zoom in a bit on the relay, you'll see three wires coming out of the primary side. Yellow, which is for the signal and is connected to GPIO 17 on the Pi. Red, which runs the power. And black, which is ground. On the right side of the relay, we have two wires running to the secondary circuit for the LED. The red wire goes to power, and the blue wire goes to the resistor. Zooming in on the LED circuit, we then see the positive lead of the LED connected to the other end of the resistor and a negative end going to ground. Now let's connect to the Pi and take a look at the code. Looking at the code, if you've been following along in the tutorial series, you'll recognize the import of rpi.gpio and the import of time. Here, I'm declaring a variable named relay pin and setting it equal to pin 11, which is GPIO 17. In the setup function, we're calling the set mode method on GPIO and passing it to GPIO board. Then we're setting up the relay pin on GPIO out and the relay pins output to high. The main functionality is within the loop, which is an infinite loop. So as long as we're iterating through the loop, We'll start by accessing the output method on GPIO, passing it the relay pin, and setting the output to low. Then sleep, then set the relay pins GPIO to high, and sleep again, and then iterate through the loop. So if we save this and run, we can see in here the circuit toggling, and when the connection is closed, the LED is illuminated. So that concludes this video on using a relay to control an LED. If you found it useful, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to be notified when I add more content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another Raspberry Pi video soon.